I remember being the medical student that liked everything. And I feel lucky to have chosen anesthesia as a specialty. I get to manipulate physiology and resuscitate, do procedures, have an in-depth knowledge of diseases and pharmacology, and most importantly, I help ensure patients undergo surgery safely and as comfortably as possible. Clinically, there's nothing we don't do at UBC, from community rotations to lung, liver, or heart transplants, and we're very flexible with electives to support your learning needs, whether it be in certain subspecialties, or going abroad, or doing electives out of province. Our five years of training starts with a first year internship combined with anesthesia rotations based in Vancouver, New Westminster, or Victoria. This allowed me to get familiar with a local community, a hospital site, as well as the people that work there, which I found very helpful in my transition to residency. My area of expertise is perioperative medicine. This is an emerging subspecialty of anesthesia. Essentially, it is expanding our role within a patient's surgical experience, making us more present outside of the operating room. This is exciting for me because anesthesiologists are in a unique position to have an impact on surgical morbidity and mortality. I love that the UBC program has specialists and expertise in unique and emerging subspecialties like ECMO, ultrasound, simulation, and of course, perioperative medicine. When it comes to academia, we're unique in that we have an academic full day every week involving staff moderated lectures, resident led teaching sessions, and hands on workshops. I learned so much from residents when I engage them in half days in clinic and in simulated scenarios. They can also help design and create research and educational projects. It's as simple as sending me an email and then we pursue their interest from there. These projects are really diverse, including research into noise in the operating room and its effects on patients and physicians, and creating a perioperative medicine educational website. For me, arguably the most important aspect of the program is the comprehensive support we receive in preparing for the R5 exam. We start early in R2, and in R5 we get dedicated time with attendings to help us succeed. The expansion has brought more diversity to our residency family. Right from the start, you'll be matched with a peer mentor who has similar interests and learning goals to provide guidance. We also have an extremely supportive program director and wonderful administrative staff. At most hospitals, we have a pre-call day and start night call in the evening, which gives us all some much needed time for self-care and wellness before we start our call. Our program is filled with leadership opportunities, whether it's organizing the retreat, getting involved with teaching, or being a wellness champion, confidential advisor, residency program committee rep, chief resident, or simulation resident. Collegiality with staff is unique at our program. Most of us are on a first name basis with attendings who are professional and dedicated to teaching, but they also try to get to know you on a personal level. Despite our size, the UBC program keeps a small feel by prioritizing work-life balance and making time to get to know our co-residents. We often go out together on weekends, have retreats to Whistler, a secret Santa Christmas party, and more. We have residents from all years on many intramural sports team and have created a bike team. Rotations up in the Okanagan mean more outdoors activities like mountain biking, skiing, fruit picking, and even winery adventures. If you visit Vancouver, make sure you walk or bike the seawall and enjoy some patio dining. Vancouver is a great travel destination and you'll never want to leave. Residency is an exciting time and it passes by quickly. Join a program that's collegial, innovative, fun, and fulfilling. Come to UBC. Come to UBC. Come to UBC. Come to UBC.